Good morning children. I am Shumana Dikshit, your science teacher. And today I will teach you chapter 5 from flowers to seeds. So first of all, I will start with the different parts of a flower. You have to practice this diagram with proper labeling. Generally speaking, flowers have four parts. Though all flowers do not have all the four parts. Flowers that have all the four parts are called perfect flowers. Let us talk about the parts of a perfect flower. The outermost part of a flower is made up of green leafy things called sepals. The job of sepals is to protect the bud before it opens. That means sepals provide protection. The colorful leaves of a flower are petals. The job of petals is to attract insects and other animals. Petals may be fragrant. Inside the petals lie the stamens. Stamens are thin stalks with yellowish dust on their tips. Stamens are the male parts of a flower. The stalks are called filaments and their tips which are like tiny pouches are called anthers. The anthers store pollen, the yellowish dust. The female part of a flower is called the pistil. A flower may have one or more pistils. The pistil is the innermost part of a flower. The pistil has a long tube-like part called the style. The top or head of the pistil is called the stigma. The swollen bottom of the pistil is called the ovary. The ovary contains ovules. The ovules are the eggs of plants. In an imperfect flower, either the stamens or the pistils are missing. Such flowers which have either the stamens that is male parts or the pistils that means female parts are called unisexual. Perfect flowers on the other hand are called bisexual because they have both male and female parts. Thank you children. Have a good day.